yo what's the story Kieran here again for another spearhead tutorial uh, this time it's not going to be like a scratch artwork making tutorial it's going to be more of an effect tutorial kind of like the xerox effect tutorial i did this one is just going to be about bitmapping which is let's face it it's also very in right now you can see it like all over the place and lots of kind of like streetwear brands or like uh, like metalcore art or like techno art or uh, poster work again it's 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 really in and it's so simple like you know just takes a couple of buttons like and uh and you can have some really really cool looking effects here so i'm gonna like grab a pre-made design that i photo bashed up and we're just gonna use that i'm gonna run through it in real time as well so hopefully this is is uh, nice and clear and uh, if you have any questions just give me a shout okay so here we are in photoshop I've got my artwork here, as I said, that I made, so I've got my text layers on um, in one group and my image in another. These are the colors that I'm going to use, and this is the texture that I'm going to use. Um, this is my grit that I'm going to use as well, and um, pretty much everything we have or we need is here, so I'm just going to get the grit and I'm going to throw it in. Um, sort of like the Xerox um, tutorial, basically, I just go in and I fire my grit on the top and um, I don't want this to be too dirty uh, I do want it to be kind of like a little bit kind of nasty looking but like it's kind of more of a kind of techno -y sort of style cyberpunky design this one so I'm not going to go overboard on the grit so um, I, you know I just kind of wanted to cover the, the, the lettering and stuff and kind of like bring out a little bit more like detail when we bitmap it in a second um, so here we are, I'm just like using my grid texture, as I said I want it small so I made it, I, I kind of made it about a quarter the size of the image and then merged them all onto one layer and yeah that looks good so now I'm going to duplicate that and kind of see it might be a little bit kind of overboard. So I'm grabbing another grid layer and I'm inverting this one to be white so this is going to be our second grid layer and this is going to like bring out the, the opposite side of the detailing. And I'm throwing that over the top there. Um, as you see, like I like I love gritting things up. You know, it's kind of like my go-to. Um, because it's just like it's it's my hang, man. It's my hang. So um, I'm playing around here now. As I said, like okay, I'm not gonna do that because you can see where I cut some bits out. So yeah, like I basically want to keep my artwork and my text separate in this case because I want to color the artwork and the text into like two different colors yeah I'm just gonna make two layers just kind of call it like white grit and uh, black grit so you can kind of know what's going on there so I'm saving these and I'm just gonna call it paramonger texture uh, just so we can always fall back on this at a later date so I got rid of my grit there and now I can go in and save it as a PNG. Now the PNG is going to be the, the image that we're going to like proper bitmap here. So we go into mode and then we go into grayscale and it's already flattened so it doesn't matter. And before I do that I'm just going to nudge the layers up, maybe bring black down and the middle up just so we have a bit more con contrast there. Now we're going into bitmap here and basically the output is like the, the dots per inch so as you can see here we've got a 5000 by 5000 image at 300 dpi so I'm gonna go in and say maybe 75 for our dots per inch and that's gonna dither it so like yeah that looks perfect that looks really sick the only problem is now that we've we've actually made it uh, 75 dots per inch it's kind of brought our file size right back down so I'm gonna whack it back up to 300 dpi and then we should have a 5000 uh, by 5000 image again and the problem is this is a grayscale bitmap image so I'm gonna make a new image which is 5000 by 5000 at 300 dpi and copy and paste our bitmap image onto it I am going to go get my color so this is the color scheme that I wanted to use and like you can use your you can look out for color schemes like pretty much anywhere. I just saw this from like a local internet provider and like I just screenshot it with my phone, sent the image to myself, brought it into Photoshop, used color dropper and then put together that little like image there and threw it into the folder because I knew I wanted 
that to be the, the color scheme for, for this image. So I go in to my artwork, make a new layer there, and I'm gonna press Shift and F5 and fill it with our blue color with the eyedropper. And then I'm using darken or maybe multiply. Yeah, multiply over that. And uh, yeah, it already looks absolutely badass. So now we want to, basically I want to use that like kind of like peachy color for the text. So I'm going in, right? I'm going back into our original uh, Paramugger Texture PSD, which has our text layer. And I'm pressing control and clicking the thumbnail on the layer. And then that's going to select the, the layer. And then I'm filling that with our peach. There we go. Now I've brought that into our, our bitmap file and I'm just sticking on at the top and I'm probably going to use multiply or darken again. And multiply. Boom. That is looking nice. The combination of the colors and like that like bitmapping kind of effect just makes it look so kind of like computery. Like, I'm just gonna like fire it around with this and kind of see like if I can get anything looking better. I actually went in and like yeah, so I like selected my my text um, layer there, and then clicked on my blue layer below it and just deleted that. So the multiply is coming through and it's like the the true peach color, James and the giant peach. So yeah, that's looking absolutely class. I think all I really need to do now is like I'm going to um, go in and texture that. Basically what bitmapping is and like githering is um, it's reducing your, your image down to like the, the smallest amount of information. So like each individual pixel is like a bit, you know what I mean? And like it's it's kind of funny. It's like dithering came from like in World War II, they had like computers on planes that worked better in the planes than on the ground. They found out that it's because they were like vibrating and dithering, it's like an old English word. So uh, that's where the term comes in into computer speak. Like what I'm actually just gonna do here is I'm gonna like bring my yeah, go back into my like text layer and kind of like bring up the contrast a bit and stuff because I think it was kind of getting lost. Like my my like I kind of like chromed it a little bit with some like nice soft um, embossing, and I'm just gonna make sure that like I don't uh, lose any of that like kind of like information when I bitmap it and yeah it, this looks like a lot better so I'm just gonna literally go back in uh, to my color layer and copy and paste it in there you can see like it, the power monger part is so much clearer happy days so yeah I don't know why they call it like uh, the original like digital imaging like dithering f from that but that's where it comes from anyway you know there's different types like you know you've got like your different like noise your monochromatic noise uh, half toning and different bitmap effects they're kind of named after weird scientists and all I can't really remember it's been a long time since I was in college so yeah I'm just again going in and I'm taking one of my like Xerox um, textures here just to kind of give it the last little like hurrah I'm going in with like screen or lighting there screen kind of looks a bit too papery so I'm actually I'm just gonna like fire some lighting over it now I'm duplicating that layer and I'm going to invert that and then use like multiply or darken yeah and multiply is a bit dark it does look cool yeah so i'm gonna use multiply and just fire the contrast up here and yeah i'm happy with that that's that's pretty cool and it looks like an album cover now so yeah i'm gonna like leave some little like um timestamps like in the uh the video thingy the description so if you want to like skip ahead and just see the bitmapping part and not the coloring or the rest of the, the texturing of the artwork, you can do that. But uh, I am happy with this now. So I'm gonna play around my like levels here a little bit more, maybe like see what dark and multiply looks best. Um, it's important not to get too bogged down in this type of thing though, because if it's too deliberate, it, it doesn't look right. You know, you, you want it to look kind of like cobbles together in terms of like texturing we want this to be like look like it's printed on like some cool old paper but like zooming in you can see all our details like everything we want is there and it's looking mean as hell so uh yeah i'm, I'm happy with that right so yeah as you can see it looks i don't know man it's just it's got this really cool like classic kind of blade runner style look and and it's it's so in right now and it's so easy to do it's like um 
the kind of thing that like you know those old macintosh computers from the 80s and stuff the monochromatic ones they would display images in like bit mapped kind of dithered resolution like and uh it, it's timeless man it looks so cool and like it's coming back in big time it's been here for a while and uh, i don't think it's going anywhere so i think you should put this in your arsenal of tricks and uh use it use it sparingly maybe don't use it all the time because when you use it only the odd time it looks like it, it keeps it special you know so yeah i hope you found that video useful like if if um you have any questions as usual just like you know give me a shout in the comments below give me a little like and subscribe you know that really helps there uh, because i'm kind of putting a lot of time into this channel and uh, i'm getting a lot out of it it's really like enjoyable so uh if you can give me a few nudges along the way and keep my motivation up you know I really appreciate that. So, uh, yeah, any questions, give me a shout. I hope everybody is keeping well. And uh, best of luck. I'll see you in the next one.